While Trump was giving speech at UN, look where Hillary showed up to stab him in the back. It's doubtful that anyone in this country actually wants to go to war as killing and carnage are always the last resort. However, if ever there was a time to reiterate a country's resolve to defend itself against all threats, it's at a meeting with the heads of the most influential nations in the world. The president was faced with that task when addressing the United Nations General Assembly in New York earlier this week. The president is generally castigated for every move he makes by the left, but that's to be expected by the losing side who still can get over it, almost a year later. What is surprising is that people are still listening to the woman that he beat. The never-Trumpers are still hanging on to their mantra, it seems, and listening to what the former first lady has to say about foreign policy. Because she's apparently not taking retirement well, Hillary went on nighttime TV to weigh in on President Trump's UNGA speech, and of course, she wasn't a fan. Western journalism reported on everybody's favorite loser's tips for the POTUS, Hillary Clinton heard Donald Trump rock the United Nations on Tuesday as he told North Korea it would be destroyed if it fights the US. She heard him denigrate leader Kim Jong-un as rocket man. She heard him label Iran a murderous regime. And she decided she could have said it better. What I'd hoped the president would have said was something along the lines of, we view this dangerous to our allies, to the region, and even to our country. We call on all nations to work with us to try to end the threat posed by Kim Jong-un, she told Stephen Colbert Tuesday during her appearance on The Late Show. To be fair, no matter what he said, she wasn't going to agree with it. Those who disagree with the president consider everything he says to be wrong if only for virtue of him saying it. There is bound to be a joke to be made about her comments coming to us from a late-night comedian's show though. Maybe we should consider it a reflection on her recent career. Clinton, who was a proponent of sanctions during her years as Secretary of State, castigated Trump's tone. I thought it was very dark, dangerous. Not the kind of the message that the leader of the greatest nation in the world should be delivering. You are both required to stand up for the values of what we believe in democracy and opportunity as a way to demonstrate clearly the United States remains the beacon that we want it to be, she said. A couple of things stand out from this video, the first is that somewhere along the way, Stephen Colbert became a political analyst. Not sure when that happened or who signed off on it but maybe comedians are the best liberals can get these days. The second is that we should note that Hillary did say that if we'd take up a collection and send her somewhere nice, she might go away. Perhaps we should consider that. Obviously, if you're listening to Hillary at this point, you're just looking for confirmation bias, which is what Colbert seemed to be doing. This isn't a new phenomenon, but it is new for it to go on this long after the election has passed. We are almost a year out from that fateful night, and she's still acting like an injured animal. She also deplored Trump's use of the nickname Rocket Man for Kim. Clinton's criticism, coming after she served in the Obama administration for four years, offended some say Jeb Sanford in Twitter. Ad Hillary Clinton did nothing to stop NK from getting nukes as seconds of state then complains about how at real Donald Trump is handling it. WTH Stopping murderous dictators doesn't seem to be in Hillary's wheelhouse. Maybe she's too busy taking notes and asking for tips on how to get away with murder. Say American woman in Twitter, ironic at Hillary Clinton chastising a POTUS for calling little crazy dictator hashtag. Rocketman while calling millions of American deplorable obviously, there's nothing worse than not supporting her. She's cool with dictators who enslave tens of millions of people but don't get between her and the Oval Office, that's just not okay. Say Oath Keeper in Twitter, at Hillary Clinton you criticize that POTUS speech maybe he should act like you and say he was under sniper fire remember that Hillary hashtag the new right Clinton also said Trump should have emphasized diplomacy. While, of course, when you face dangerous situations, like what is happening North Korea, to make it clear, your first approach should always be diplomatic, she said. Clinton's comments outraged Fox News contributor Rachel Campos Duffy. When I watched that interview I came out going, thank God she's not president, thank God we did something different this time because I think Donald Trump doesn't have a lot of options, thanks to her, 
thanks to Obama and frankly, thanks to George Bush but I think he's taking problems on, head on, and doing the best he can, she said on Varney and Co. It shows how selfish she is. She's obviously hurting her party by doing this book tour, by revisiting and making excuses for the party, Duffy said. The fact is that it's easy to sit on our couches or talking to a comedian and say what you would do if you were the president, but most of us never even come close, so it doesn't even matter. Hillary did come close, and she did brush elbows with many of the dangerous dictators, and she knows exactly what she would have done. That, plus many other things, is the reason we should be saying prayers of thanks that she's not the president and we won't be sold to the highest murderous bidder in order to get Hillary more power. Politicians like Hillary and Maxine Waters who want to give in to the monsters of our time are the kind of people that destroy what our founders built. We need to see them for what they are, a green-eyed greedy narcissist who will line their own pockets at the cost of American lives. They can criticize the president all they want, but they just keep proving our point, he's looking out for us and they aren't. H slash T, Western journalism share if you. Re glad Hillary is on late night TV and not in the Oval Office. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook and liking it and follow up and thank you for watching.